friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna to take a look at this brand new layout from the Happy Planner. Um, it's called Simply or Simply Layout. It's a classic sized planner. Um, this is available at Walmart. It was $19.98, which is all right for a planner, I guess, of the size, and you'll see why. It's not bad. It's a good, it's a decent price for a full year's worth of time. It's 12 months. Um, it's on mini discs though, so it's half the size of a regular classic. But you still get the full year and I'll show you how they do that here in a minute but um so this is your little information thing and um this is I don't know what collection they're calling this but this is from the teeny florals line that came out I think it was a year ago at least um I think it was last spring I'm not 100% sure so it's got 2023 on it which is odd because it starts in July so it, should, it goes actually until through 2024 yeah, so um, I'll probably move this cover to something else. Like at the end of the year, I might put this on one of my planners. But I do love this cover, or I'd cover this. Um, but it's dated. Not my favorite. Um, then we got the blue teeny florals. And then um, here's your hello page. That's actually really cute. Okay, and there is your year at a glance so it doesn't have that other thing that everyone calls a perpetual calendar where you can fill in um for the year uh, so that is not in here which is fine like sometimes i use that and sometimes i don't like this year i'm using it to track what we ate for dinner so then if i want ideas for dinner i can go back and see what we had or how soon or how long it's been we've had something things like that um but it does have a currently page and this is one of the new layouts when in doubt, add flowers. So there's the dividers. It feels, I can't tell, it kind of feels thinner. I definitely think, it, it might just be me. It feels different. There's your calendar. There's a nice grid here for notes. And then here is your layout. And so what it is, is you've got two weeks. Instead of having that dashboard on the side and then your daily, your weekly layout here, you get two weeks at once. So you don't have a lot of extra space for notes and things. That's what you could use your currently page for though. You have this. So you could always like leave notes and things or like a running to-do list here and then transfer it to your weekly as you're going. Um, it does have that like Monday through Sunday, like dinner section or whatever you wanna track there. So you've got your weeklies and then, okay, so here's another note page for you on the back of your currently page. So you have your weeklies and then a note page and then you have your currently page for August. So then you've got your florals. These do feel different to me. They just, the finish feels different. Maybe it's just like the quality of the paper. I don't know. The paper feels similar. The, the dividers feel not as smooth. I don't know. It's really weird. So we've got, you've got your weeklies and then another note page. Oh, I like this. I like this note page because this, this kind of makes up for not having, I don't always need that full dashboard that you would get here, but this makes up for not having it. Plus you have your currently page to put, put stuff on if you need to. Like this is a really great functional planner. And I think the idea is to make it a more affordable functional planner because not everyone needs the, to decorate and stuff like that. These are definitely not the same quality, the dividers. I don't know what's going on. Beauty is all around. It's not bad. I mean, they're fine. They're just not the same. They feel different. And they look different. Bloom and grow, be strong, and know you're beautiful, you. And that's, this is a cheaper planner, so that's not a surprise. Maybe it's just, some, I'm seeing something that's not there, though. Never stop dreaming. It's just... There's something like glossy and finished about the other ones that these don't have. Maybe I'm just making it up. Let's see, here's my journal. I don't know, maybe I'm making it up. Maybe I'm making it up. <laughs> maybe I'm expecting it and it's not really there though. Plant dreams, pull weeds and grow happy life. That's so cute. Um, there's the gold teeny florals. The grass is green where you water it. Oh, that's cute. Another floral pattern. So when I have ones like this, I'd put like a sticker on them to kind of jazz them up for myself. One happy life. 
and then another floral just plain floral and then the back of okay so june has its monthly weeklies and then they have one and then there's an extra note page in the back basically for the whole year let's see if there's any other ones like that just curious Okay, yeah, so April has an extra note page because it ends on this page. So sometimes you'll get an extra note page, just like one page because then you have your currently page. That's nice. Um, yeah, March does too next month, year. So it just depends how many weeks are in the like section, like February only has one. But that's really nice that there's that extra page. Okay, back to, I wondered about that. Um, and then we got the back inside cover and then the back of the cover. This planner is really cute. And then these discs are like a matte gold. They're almost like a shade of tan, but they're gold. I don't know how to explain it. It's really nice matte, like a matte finish. I do like it. Yeah. Very nice. Um, but they are mini discs. So that's cool, though, that you can fit a whole year on mini discs. Um, obviously you can because they fit the mini planners on mini discs, but it's cool that it doesn't seem like it's too fat and you'll have room to decorate or add things in if you want and still be able to fit them on there. Um, yeah, and of course I'd probably move my metal discs <laughs> over to mine, but yeah, I really like this idea. There's a few different designs. This is the only one they had at my Walmart and luckily I actually really love this teeny florals design, but it was not... A priority for me when they came out because there were other designs I like better. So now I do have something from this collection which makes me happy. And I actually really love this blue and this. I might just take this as the beginning page. Anyway, um, this is a really nice layout for this would be really good for like a family planner. Like, so you could just write down like what people have going on and then notes. Like, this would be a good like shared planner for your household. Um, so they did also have a new sticker book. It was not really new. It was teeny florals. I don't remember what it was called, but it's only 10 pages and it was $10. So it's really not that, I don't think that's a really good deal. I'm not even sure this is a good deal. So Walmart typically has, the prices are a little bit lower because they don't have sales and the other places have sales. So they're the same price as the Happy Planner and then things go on sale, right? Like I said, this one was $19.98, which typically the planners are like $35, $30, in there. So not bad. It's a good alternative, but you are, um, you are technically getting less pages, but you're still getting a full year. So it's a good alternative if you don't need all that extra space, um, as far as like the stickers go though, 10 sheets for $10 isn't really a good deal when you get 30 sheets for $22. So I don't know. Walmart's had some weird pricing though too, because they had the Nightmare Before Christmas collection and that mega book was cheaper than the regular size book, which was expensive. So it's just... You got to think about what you're getting when you're buying stuff like at Walmart, I guess is what I'm trying to say, depending if you really want this planner, it's an exclusive, then you should get it right. Um, and typically they don't always have, sometimes they have designs that don't come anywhere out anywhere else. Um, there was one planner I hunted down at Walmart because I really love the, the design, but um, as far as that sticker book goes, if you have teeny florals or you can find teeny florals, it's going to be a better deal than buying the sticker book at Walmart, which is part of the reason I didn't get it. It'd be a good supplement. If it were on sale, I'd get it, but it won't go on sale. It may go on clearance at some point, but um, I'd get it to supplement my teeny florals book, but I don't need it because I have that other one. So now for someone that didn't know any better or wanted to gift the planner and the sticker book and maybe just wanted, you don't need a ton of stickers. There's not as much room in these, right? But I just don't see how that price point makes sense when I can go over to the craft store or the happy planner website and get more than double, like 
triple the st amount of stickers for double the price. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but that is it. This, um, if I didn't, this is a classic size. If I didn't mention this layout seems to only be available at Walmart right now. So go check out, check out your app and see if it's like available at your store before you go, because there's no point. I've been into stores that don't have anything. And then I've been into stores that have everything. Um, there's no point in heading over there though. If they don't have it, don't make like an extra trip. If you're not sure, like go look it up online. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Here's the barcode. If you want to go look it up on the Walmart app. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day and let me know what you think about this new layout down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.